I know you've been quoted expressing some frustration with yeah. reaching out to the governor's office. Yeah. And um, and how did how did that work out finally for you in the end in terms of your own? Well, you know, I I'm, I'm extremely disappointed in our governor. Mm -hmm. I, I'm especially disappointed in in uh, in a lot of her staff uh, who I believe have steered her in the in the absolute wrong direction. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been one of my most difficult tasks trying to keep our members on you know uh, really on target with what our goals are. Um, you know, when you sit down and you negotiate for a month with the governor to talk about, you know, the cuts that we have to take to make the difficult choices and, and then to find out that, uh, you know, she goes and says we're decimating education or we're draconian in our cuts and we're trying to figure out, well, wait, I thought that's where we were, this is where we all came in on it. Mm -hmm. and so that was difficult. I think, uh, I think the lawsuit was... Uh, uh, Quite frankly, it, you know, a, a real problem and distraction for no apparent reason. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I don't think those pieces helped. I mm -hmm. think from the very beginning, uh, the governor's office made a huge mistake in uh, in not talking to uh, House members, leadership, and House members, and in in both in in leadership in both parties mm -hmm. as well before she backed herself in the corner with the sales tax referral. Uh, you can't say that we didn't work very hard for her goals, and, and uh, I felt that, uh, uh, that she was disrespectful to the members who came on board to support, uh, to support her agenda that many of them did not agree with. There was from the very beginning, I think she got some advice that said, you know what, um, you know, uh, you need to, uh, not go walk arm in arm with these guys. We need to mm -hmm. tell them what we're doing. It just sounded to, uh, and, and as I look back on it, I mean, I've, I've gone to her office and uh, I'm the one who carried her sales tax referral. And her reaction to you encouraging her to just sign it when it was just... Yeah, I gave her a big hug and I, uh, I think, oh, I said, please sign this. I mean, it's my that's my job. Uh -huh. You know, my job isn't just to get my 31 votes over here and mm -hmm. help the Senate, you know, and, and move this collectively through. My job what did, doesn't end until I get a signature on a bill, so uh, I went up and asked her for her signature. And the first budget that we passed was so difficult because I had the governor's staff trying to, to kill it. Mm -hmm. So you usually <laughs> don't expect that when you're in the same party. You know, we're trying to move our budget process along, and mm -hmm. at the same time, you know, we've got the governor's staff trying to stop us. So, so it was just a very strange year. It was a lot of things that were unexpected out of that. I think there was great hope. Uh, when uh, when Governor Brewer came in, we thought, okay, we're all together. And uh, uh, wherever it started, whoever it was, it said, no, nah, you don't want to walk arm in arm and deal with those guys. Let's let's do it our way. Mm -hmm. Whoever did that, I hope is gone, because that's a problem. So has uh, leadership been in contact with the governor at oh, all yeah. about oh, yes. doing some sort of fix before the end of the year? Well, we have been talking. You know, of course, her view was, well, let's you know, let's fund the agencies at the and mm -hmm. you know that hasn't worked, of course. Because we believe we need, you know, we need to address the big problem now, mm -hmm. you know, and and the big problem is, Governor, how are we going to now move Arizona forward, mm -hmm. you know, when we're now a billion two like, short? I think the idea is to work on things that, you know, as well that are also important. You know, energy parks is a mm -hmm. is a huge piece that we're working on. It could be huge for economic development, uh, so we're anxious about that. We've got to create jobs in Arizona so we can, you know help absorb the housing, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, bubble that we're in where we've got, you know, the large inventories of housing and bring our tax rate, uh, you know, our, uh, our revenue up by mm -hmm. getting people back to work so they can consume. So those are the things that I, that I think we should be, uh, we have a lot of agreement with the executive on and I think that's where we need to move forward in, in the short, in the short two months that we have before the holidays. So do you see something happening then before the holidays? Yes, do yes, I do. I, uh, it, it, it's my hope, and I've, you know, and I've made this clear on multiple occasions that uh, we, uh, uh, it makes sense to to get some of these uh, budget items at least take a bite out of the 2010 crisis mm -hmm. before we get back into session. The governor has to lead here. Mm -hmm. You know, if she's going to take 15 percent or 10 percent, or we're going to go back to 2006 or two. She, she has to lead because she has to be able to say, I will sign that if you send it to me.